bringing our focus to the spine when we are warming up and getting ourselves a little bit more mobile, uh, particularly as we get older, is really, really important. And a great way of mobilizing the spine, getting some energy to the spine, is to create some rotation through the spine. So we often get really tight in that area, in that spinal column. So what I'd like you to do is take your feet about shoulder width apart, soft knees here. So by soft, we're not locking the knees out, nor are we going into a squat position. So you're just releasing the thighs, if you like. Stand tall and visualize a, a strong central rotational axis through the center line of the body, through the crown, down through the spine. And then we're going to start the movement here at the hips and the waist. So you're just using the ground, just gently, gently pushing into the ground with the feet so that that translates into a movement of the hips and the waist. So the hips and the waist are just moving. So nice and strong through the lower body. And then just let the arms relax. Keep that length through the spine and then just gradually build up the momentum from the hips and the waist. And as you'll notice, if your arms are relaxed and the shoulders are relaxed, your arms will just start to hit the body. Just let them tap the body. Keep lifting tall through the spine. And then let the elbows bend so that you're tapping across your belly and you're tapping across the back, across the lower back. If I just show you from the back, the back of my hand is just tapping just on that lower back, just behind the belly button. And in Qigong, this movement is called knocking on the door of life. And this area on the back of the body, behind the belly button, is seen as the door of life where all your original chi is stored. If you think about the umbilical cord that comes in from the mother into the belly button, then all your original energy, your original chi is stored in that place there. Also, if you think about it, you're just creating some uh, blood flow to the lower back. You're just bringing awareness to the lower back, awareness to the belly too. Really now relax the shoulders, relax the arms, keep tall through the spine. And work your way up through the spine, just noticing lower back, how does vertebra rotate one on top of the other? And then perhaps up to mid back. And then upper back where we often tend to get a lot of tightness in that thoracic spine area. So just let the arms and the shoulders and the upper back relax. Feel that rotation. Our breath is easy, just easy in and out through the nose, not breathing in any particular way. And the head is just going with the spine. And what you can do to slow it down is take a nice fuller breath in through the nose. And on the out breath, almost like going to a slow motion version of that movement. And this time there's just that little bit of resistance. So it's like you're just pushing your arms through the dense, a dense air in front and behind you. And this movement is called water waves. It's a nice visualization. It's almost as if you are just wading in water and you're just pushing that water around the body. What I like about Qigong is the, the visualizations it gives you an intention to what you're doing rather than just repeating an exercise because 
someone has told you to do an exercise. <laughs> the slower you go, you'll feel the air. You can feel the air just through the fingers. And then slow it down. Bring the feet about hip width and just stand and balance for a second. You can do that anytime, anywhere. You don't have to do it for a long period of time. Again, it's just a nice way just to get that movement in the spine, to get the blood flowing, lymphatic drainage, and get you warmed up for any movement or for any exercise, or just to take a little break throughout the day. If you're sitting a lot at a desk, um, it's nice just to get out and just move a little bit, even if it's for 30 seconds. Remember, create those good habits, do them little and often. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your practice.